So we've got some bullshit. Uh, we got some bull ass shit. Um, you know, it, it, we got some bullshit. Uh, so this is Marjorie Taylor Greene going on the Alex Jones program. And uh, I just want to say that I do not endorse what these folks are saying. This is some really out there stuff. Some really out there stuff. Um, but I want to, you know, talk about it because Marjorie Taylor Greene is a member of Congress, right? There are members of Congress. Max the dog is currently having his own time. Um, there are members of Congress that actually think this insane garbage nonsense, and I think it's important to understand that this is a problem in this country. So I have two clips here uh, from the Alex Jones program featuring Marjorie Taylor Greene, and we're going to get in. Make of Laura Logan uh, getting deplatformed and getting attacked uh, for coming out and comparing him to Joseph Mingle. I think it's a very fair comparison. Him is Dr. Fauci in this context. Person. I think it's a fair comparison that it's basically been one big human experiment, right? Um, that's what COVID-19 vaccines have been. That's what COVID-19 has been. So do I think Lara Logan should have been deplatformed or attacked for what she said? So, okay. So they're basically calling Anthony Fauci, uh, Joseph Mengele. That's interesting. Um, now again, we're going to get into some more, uh, weirdo territory here. Um, but this is, uh, like, th I, yes, the CDC has made a lot of mistakes during this pandemic. Absolutely. Absolutely. But where these people are coming from, you need to understand these people are not coming from a universal health care, provide vaccines for everybody, like, which should be. Like, I believe in vaccine mandates. We need to, ma we have mandatory vaccination, right? We should have free health care for everybody. So these people are, they, they don't think that Fauci is doing enough when it comes to the poor judgment and the mistakes. Um, and this part is, this is the really, this is the crazy out there part, so let's watch. This is truly mental illness. Wearing a mask today after two years of this Chinese- You know what's mental illness? Wearing pants. If I wanna go to the supermarket and I want to have my genitals exposed, right? It's hot outside, goddammit. Why the fuck do I have to wear pants? That, when you really think about it, that we are we have mandatory pants wearing in this society, that's fascism. That's medical fascism. You know, haven't you like haven't you seen these studies about how like, you know, wearing like tight underwear can like, you know, fuck with your uh, you know, your body and stuff? No, 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 no. I disagree. I'm I'm no pants. Hashtag no pants virus that has infected our country um this man-made chinese virus that Dr. again i don't endorse any of these statements these are all really batshit conspiracies dr fauci sent our tax dollars to and contributed to but people still wearing masks i mean it's truly mentally ill we know the masks don't i now correct me if i'm wrong but people are still wearing shirts as well uh, now, why is it that people have mandatory shirt wearing in this country? Again, all right, you don't want to see my genitals, that's fine. But, I mean, I, you know, I want to walk around the supermarket without my shirt on. I should be allowed. It's hot outside, motherfucker. Like, you know, like this idea that masks are a step too far, but like having shoes in a supermarket, you need shoes. You need a shirt. You need pants. What? <laughs> like, what? In my opinion, it's either... I, I believe in mandatory masking. If you don't have a mask on, I, if we can send someone to jail for not having pants on, we can send someone to jail for not having a mask on. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, okay? Don't work. And the vaccines don't work. People that are vaccinated are still getting COVID. But I think that people... Again, this binary thinking, um, the vaccination, I think it's like 97% or something of the deaths are with unvaccinated people. So I read that somewhere, I, you know. Um, with vaccinated cases, like it's very unlikely to die if you are vaccinated. You might get sick, you might have a breakthrough case, but it's very, very unlikely that you will die if you have uh, been vaccinated. But again, it's not like 100%, so therefore it doesn't work. This binary thinking uh, is so fascinating to me, right? It's like eating food, sometimes you get food poisoning. So therefore, eating food doesn't always make you feel good. Sometimes you get food poisoning. Therefore, I'm never going to eat ever again. I'm, I'm hashtag no food. People really have blood on their hands that have stopped the, the prescriptions of ivermectin, refuse people who have had... So again, the vaccines, bad. Big pharma, big pharma, big pharma. Ivermectin, also controlled by big pharma companies. That's good? What? 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 Sick 
family members in the hospital of not being able to take ivermectin or any other kind of life-saving treatment or therapy. I mean, I truly think that we need to investigate all these people and investigate the deaths that are reported on the VAERS system. So again, all these people are crazy. I just wanted to share this. This is, I mean, I don't even know what to tell you anymore. Like this country is bad. It's Looney Tunes. This has been a hell of a last couple of years for content in this country, let me tell you. Wear your fucking mask when you go outside, get your fucking vaccine, and shut the fuck up, motherfucker. I, personally, I want to go to a concert, personally. I would love to go to a bar. I want to get drunk in public again, right? When's the last time I've been drunk in public? It's been a long time. I'm sick of being drunk in my own home. I want to be drunk in public again. I want to go to a concert. I want to wander around outside and like wake up in a dumpster somewhere. But I can't because of this fuck shit ass pandemic, right? Now, again, I could if I just wanted to die. If I wanted to kill myself, maybe. Oh, uh, then I would, but I don't. So, you know, it's, you know, what are you going to do? Um, but anyway, 14th Amendment, Section 3. She gave aid and comfort to those engaging in an in, in insurrection against this country. She should be banned from office and she should be ineligible to run for office ever again at any point in time. 14th Amendment, Section 3. Uh, get this fucking bitch out of here.